Hello everybody, my name is Gianna, aka Planet Dork Pubes, and today I wanted to make this video as a fan. Even though I technically am a creator now, I've been a fan longer, and I kind of wanted to give my standpoint on both. I mainly made this video because of Sean's recent video, Am I Retiring? And I'm not gonna lie, it hit. <laughs> it hit a little bit. It hit me hit eight-year-old me in the heartstrings that for the way he said some things and Sean if you're watching this this is kind of like my response as a fan to you also as a creator relating to you and this is for the fans this is my voice for the fans because I was lucky enough to be put up with this fan account so highly that I know I'm more likely to get recognized, so I want to be a voice for the fans if that were ever to happen. I don't know, does any of that make sense? I, I hope it does, but anyways, let's get into it. Now, recently, a lot of creators have been leaving, and they've been retiring, and just, just, they're gone. <laughs> That's the best way I can put it, and it hurts. It hurts so incredibly much, but I understand it. I think we all understand it, and um, Sean, I understand every point of view where you're coming from. I understand from the creator aspect and from the fan aspect. As a fan, I just want to say I don't think these creators sometimes understand how much they truly do help, which I understand it's from that standpoint of they don't know us. It's 100% a parasocial relationship. They don't know us. They don't know anything about us at all and we just know them like we get to know them they give us a preview into their lives we get to see what they look like on a daily what they're doing how they act and we're lucky enough to get the privilege to see that for our favorite creators where we can relate to or if it's just like an escape for 15 minutes just to watch something for me personally Growing up, it wasn't the best. It still isn't the best, but growing up, I went through a lot. I went through a lot at school. I went through a hell of a lot at home. And they were my 15 minutes. I didn't have many friends growing up. And, you know, I would get bullied. I'd get bullied for, you know, just being me. I'd get bullied for not having as much money as the other kids. I'd get bullied for maybe being smarter. I'd get just like shunned out because I'd get bullied for unrelated family things. Stuff would happen at home and it really took a toll on me to the point where it felt like I had no escape. Where it was just a constant, you go to school, you get tortured, you come home, you get tortured. And it just, it does a lot to a kid. It really does. and. When I was eight, I happened to stumble upon Mark and Sean and kept on stumbling upon YouTube and creators and that was my safe space, like that was my getaway. And it just felt like there was a friend. It felt like there was a friend to just watch Scream at Games, watch Scream at Cleverbot Eevee, Happy Wheels, whatever. Like it just, it was so nice to watch something and to be happy for once to feel like you were a part of something and that you were just watching a friend play a video game, you know? it. And, and even if it wasn't video games, like it, maybe some people were into makeup stuff, maybe people were into vlogs, like whatever, whatever you were into, that's how it feels. And my best friend told me this and she, I think she saw it on like a Britney Broski podcast, but it's so incredibly true. There hasn't been anything like YouTube and Twitch and social media before. And this is just like a learning process with it because back then you would never even dream of meeting a celebrity. Like they were, if you needed to go be famous, I don't know if that's the best words to put it, but if you were famous and needed to go somewhere, you would go to a studio, you'd go on stage, you'd go on film, on set, like you weren't live in front of people. There wasn't that connection. You would have to put on a face to be an actor or be a singer, or you'd have to act a certain type of way for how fans saw you. 
while streaming and YouTube is so much more personal and so much more like they can know what you're doing right then right there if you're live streaming like it's so social media is so incredibly personal and invasive at times that so many people can know exactly what you're doing and but in a way it's also good because so many people can relate to you and you can talk like that one-on-one -on -one. like it feels like right now i'm just talking in a conversation to somebody like i'm just talking like it doesn't feel like oh i have to record something for millions of people like it doesn't feel like that at all i just want to let you know sean mark amy like all these creators and i speak for any creator to any creator out there from a fan standpoint, I speak for all the fans when I say this, thank you from the bottom of my heart, from the bottom of their hearts. I know sometimes it feels like you guys don't do much. I know sometimes it's like, oh, I just played a stupid video game. I just, I just recorded a dumb video. I just acted stupid. It doesn't matter. It really doesn't because sometimes when there's so much bad going on in your life, People do turn to YouTube and social media and they just, they escape, they get something to distract themselves from their everyday lives. Like it, it's so incredibly beautiful, the connection you guys have created with your fans. And that people like me, like I can make fan accounts and connect with more people. And it's just, it's just a loop. Like we all just connect with each other. It's so incredibly beautiful. And Sean, going back to your video, hurt is an understatement. It shattered, shattered my heart. The fact you would talk about yourself in the way of people will forget me. I guarantee you, you did not get 30 million subscribers because of that. I understand mental health is a very hard thing. And I understand that, you know, on social media, we encourage it a lot. We encourage take a mental health break. Don't post all the time. And I understand that completely messes up the algorithm because if you're consistently posting, the algorithm will push it out. But if you stop doing that and try to get back into it, the algorithm, it messes with the algorithm for some weird reason. And maybe fans don't always get the content you're you're now giving maybe they don't get the message that you're back like i understand millions can see a video but there will still be people out there being like oh they're back from vacation oh they're back from this like there's gonna be people that still have no idea what you're doing unless they search you up your their themselves oh i'm sorry can't speak um but i guarantee you sean that if you have no living fans i died like I have not forgotten about you, and I'm not gonna lie to you, I saw that cookie cutter, as you called it, content you were giving. I saw that reaction to TikToks, like that very, I don't want to call it cheap, but it's just that very fast cash grab content, which you even said it didn't feel like fulfilling to you and your fans noticed that i noticed that and yeah for a while i wasn't watching you or mark or ethan like i just i stopped watching youtube in itself because i personally wasn't a fan of that type of material your fans saw you you, you losing spark so we lost it too and i know that's what you're afraid of and that is exactly what happened, but I promise you, that doesn't mean we don't care about you. I promise you, that doesn't mean that we don't love and support you. And that goes for any creator out there. Like, I promise you, you rebrand, you make different content. Yeah, you're going to lose people. That's going to happen with it. I'm sure me making this video, I'm losing people because I'm not making my usual compilation content. But you're gonna gain a lot of people too. It's just people get older and preferences change. And on top of that, I completely believe COVID ruined everything. 2020, everything was spiking. All videos were spiking because we had to sit at home and all we had was the internet to rely on. And now that everything's sort of kind of gone back to normal, it's people don't have time for it anymore or people are busy doing stuff or it's just 
the algorithm completely, YouTube, it all got so strong. The internet thrived is what I'm trying to say and they're trying to get back to that no matter whose videos they push out and what videos they don't and it doesn't matter to them. I don't know if I'm making sense in this video. I really hope I am. I'm just a dumb 18 year old girl coming on here just like hi but as a fan it does it hurts to see your favorite creators leave. Amy left like yeah she's she posts here and there but she ultimately left wish you left god that one killed me inside some people love jenna marble she left like map hat left like so many creators are leaving and i understand for them that's what they need to do in their moment in their life and i get that go for it but just say goodbye first it hurts so badly that they're just leaving and it's like what do we do now and we have to get on with our lives too because at the end of the day we're all just humans looking up at one another god it just hurts me that if they're leaving because they think nobody cares about them anymore or nobody cares about their content or what they're doing that's what personally kills me inside if you have to leave because you're starting a family or you just feel like it's time for you for whatever reason it's fine but if you're leaving solely based on the reason that Nobody cares about me anymore. God, that breaks my heart for so many creators. And I know what it's like, trust me. I know what it's like, cause I've done that where I've taken a break and I come back and videos aren't doing as good as they are. And I have to keep on going on the mentality of it's not about the views, it's about the people watching. And personally, what I think we all need to do for everybody is I believe that we all need to come together and we need to just be a community again if this is gonna work or else so many creators are gonna leave. Creators need to reach out to fans. We need to keep doing more creator fan interactions like we did in 2020. Of course we didn't do it in person, but you get my point. Like I sometimes forget that, oh, Sometimes I do lose that spark where I'm like, God, it's so hard to keep pushing content solely off your ideas. It's so hard to keep editing and keep on pushing out stuff. Like, uh, I, I get it. Like, that creative block comes in, like, and it just, you get lazy. You just, you don't want to do it. That passion slowly, slowly dies a little bit. But what always revives it for me is like if I live stream or if I read comments or something and you guys, you guys genuinely fuel me and inspire me every single day to keep going and to keep going with this channel and my own channel and everything. Because without you guys, I don't think I'd be doing what I'm doing at all and i thank you for that every day and i think creators sometimes get so big that they have to just stop and look back and realize how many people love you and how many people care and whether it is people just come to see a silly video about a video game or people come to stay and be a fan thank you and that's i just think it's so incredibly important like sean over a decade, I watched you and I watched you grow. And I know one of the things you said you were afraid of was, I'm afraid that I'm gonna change and people are gonna hate me for it. But a human's gift is to change and you've changed so wonderfully. And to see you not just in your content grow, but with the ego stuff, with with your family, with Evelyn, with BB. And this goes for all creators too. Mark your creative passion and drive to keep on making bigger and better things. Amy helping him. Like us, me seeing that inspires me so much every single day that I want to be the best version of myself because of all of you and because of the community and the space you've created. I want to be that Markiplier. I want to be that Jacksepticeye. I want to be me, but I want to do what you guys did. And you have, I know this is going to sound stupid to say, I know maybe you guys aren't ready to be parents, but you raised a hell of a generation. 
and all of us don't know what we would have done in our darkest and lowest moments without you guys. And I just want to thank you. I know I keep on saying it, but from the bottom of my heart, eight-year-old Gianna right now, she is so incredibly thankful. And all the time she was scared, growing up, all the anxiety she had, every the depression, everything she felt into who I am now as an adult woman, I guess you can say, because I just turned 18 in March. She wouldn't have, she wouldn't be here. I wouldn't be here without you guys. And when everybody else gave up on me, it felt like you guys didn't. And I know that heavily plays into the parasocial relationship thing, and I'm sorry, but it's the truth. And Amy, God, Amy, if it wasn't, apparent enough that I'm a fan of you. You don't understand how much you've helped me. Sean, Mark, like the other day, I was so anxious and so scared and I just started binge watching Prop Hunt again because it's one of my comfort series. Instantly, I felt better and I was laughing. It, it was like I felt hope again to keep going. It's insane. Like I was so depressed a second, like, ah, what's the point? And the next minute I'm like, Let's keep going. Woo. Life's every life's great, guys. Like and you it's like adrenaline. Like you can't get enough and it's crazy, but I would not feel that without you guys. I don't know how. And so many other fans feel that too. I know I keep on reiterating the same thing and I'm sorry. This video is going to get cut out into many parts, but I promise you, you are not forgotten. I promise you. All the videos, all the posts, everything you've made, deleted, brought back, anything like that, we remember. And we love you and thank you for it. And if you need to take a break, go for it. Because when we come back, yeah, maybe you won't be getting the same view count, but the viewers that love and care about you will be there and that's what matters. And I promise you that even when you're gone, you're still gonna make a lasting impact for generations to come. And I am so, I know it means nothing coming from me, just a mentally ill girl talking in front of a camera, but I'm so fucking proud of who all of you have become, that all of you are reaching your dreams and all of you are living your best lives. Lives, lives, ugh. <laughs> but, you inspired me, and I don't think I could ever thank you enough for giving me the love for YouTube, for teaching me, raising me on how to act, because I didn't have the best role models growing up, and then you guys came along, and you really helped me. You saved me so many times, and the fact that I feel like I just want to return the favor for you. And whether you watch this video, whether the fans do, whoever, I want you all to know that I'm so grateful and I love every single one of you. Whether you watch me, support me, whether you're one of my favorite creators that are my heroes and inspire me, all of you save me and inspire me every single day. And I love every single one. And I promise you, I will try to do my best to relate to you as a fan and to provide to you as a creator. I'll try to make my viewers proud and I'm gonna try to live the legacy and make my heroes proud. I hope this video makes sense, but Sean, Mark, Ethan, Amy, Evelyn, Sina, everybody, I love you and thank you for the best decade that you could have given me and millions of others. I love all of you. And I think it's only fitting if we do the nostalgic outro because to prove how much of an impact you have on me, Sean, I still remember this intro from the couple thousand times I've watched it. Or outro, not intro, outro. Ugh, I can't even speak, I'm sorry. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, punch that like button in the face like a boss and high fives all around. Whoopsh, whoopsh. Thank you guys, and I'll see all you dudes in the next video.
<laughs> the, cue the music. But thank you guys, genuinely. And I love you all. And I'll see all you guys in the next video. So, bye bye <laughs>